cruise.com or call 1-877-223-7030. I'm Robert Osborne, and thanks so much for being with us. For the rest of this day, we're visiting with this month's guest programmer, somebody we're very happy to have with us. She's Mother Dolores Hart, former actress whose films we show from time to time here on TCM, including two she made with Elvis Presley, Loving You and King Creole, and one of the most popular of all spring break movie hits, Where the Boys Are. She was the star of that. But in 1963, she left Hollywood and went to Bethlehem, Connecticut, where she joined the Benedictine Abbey of Regina Laudis and soon became Mother Dolores Hart. Just last year, she released her autobiography, The Ear of the Heart, an actress's journey from Hollywood to Holy Vows. And we're delighted to welcome her into the TCM family. Welcome, Mother Dolores. Thank you very much. So her first choice is a very personal one. It's a movie in which she herself stars. She stars in along with Stephen Boyd, Leo McKern, and the wonderful Hugh Griffith. It's a movie from 20th Century Fox in 1962 called Lisa. Now, I'm glad you picked this because I think it's really interesting because of your career in Hollywood that you picked one of your films. And also, this is a movie I'd always heard about but never seen. So I was delighted to see it, to catch up before we talked about it. It's a lovely movie. Well, apparently, um, Natalie Wood in those days was, I think she was meant to do it. And my agent called and said, for some reason, she can't do this, could we send you a script? And when I read the script, you know, I was 21, I had no idea that things of this nature happened to people uh -huh. in this way. It was, um, I, I think it was a, a deep experience of the meaning of suffering. It's about a girl who had had, had a unique experience or maybe not so unique in the Second World War well, she had and about in, the aftermath of that. She had been in uh, Auschwitz yes. and had been used as a medical experiment. Uh -huh. And uh, I was, I thought, well, how in the world am I going to identify with this? But then a friend of the director had, had me see a woman named Suzanne Zada who had actually been in Auschwitz. Mm. And Suzanne was very open with me to tell me. Kind of uh, like a technical advisor then yes. for you. And it's a very interesting and exciting movie as it turned out. We love doing it. Yes. Stephen and I had dinner every night talking over the script and we, be, we became great friends uh -huh. through it. Did you, did you have a lot of friends in Hollywood that you have stayed friends with? Oh, very many. Oh, you'd be surprised how I, I thought everybody would just say, oh my gosh, you know what she's done. Well, it's a different life. I mean, you're living such a different life but, than you did um, then. So many. Paula Prentice stayed a friend. Connie Francis. One of our great friends here, Patricia Neal, I know, spent a lot yes, of time yes. with you, and she's buried, I believe, there, yes, right? She is. She, yes. she is absolutely one of my dearest friends. Was it difficult to turn your back on that so totally? That was one of the things that I really worried about because one of the th very, very biggest moments for me was being in front of the eye of the camera. I loved the thought that now I would be able to talk to a million people uh -huh. at once. I mean, that's, I'm saying that's when I was a, a little tyke right. growing up and longing for it. Right. But I never lost the joy of bringing a character to life. Uh -huh. Lisa, oh, she, she was with me at my side for months after we finished the mm -hmm. film, just because the excitement of getting into another human being's life and right. story and then being able to present her, it just was, I, I wondered if I would ever, ever live it down, yes. giving her up, I mean, giving that up. Well, let's see the movie. Here it is, directed by Philip Dunn, also with Donald Pleasance, and starring our guest programmer this month, Mother Dolores, when she was making films in Hollywood as Dolores Hart. From 1962, here's Lisa. <laughs> 